Hey y'all, I am Aunt Mary's niece. Some people call me Emma Daughter because my mama name was Emma. And some people say Lady Q because when I do my poetry and public speaking, that's what it is. But nevertheless, all the young people, because you know, I like to be fly and jazzy. Now look at here. I know I've been kind of absent for a minute, but don't mind me y'all. Let me tell you something. Are you about handling your business? Or are you about standing on your business? You know, when I was absent, I, was, I had a question that I asked last night. And sometimes you got to be kind of careful when you ask the spirit, what's to do? So I said, spirit, I need to know what direction to go. Should I go to the left or should I go to the right? Or should I stay the straight way? Yeah, that is a biblical term, honey. So he told me to do the straight way, honey. Not to go to my left, not to go to my right. Now, it's 3.30 in the morning. And for those of you all who know me, y'all know I get up real early to start my work. But let me tell you, I thought to myself, well, let me keep quiet. Let me do this. Let me just, just hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle. But guess what? I ain't had no battle. <laughs> Because the battle was within me. You know, I kept on coming to God more than I gave. That's the song also. I come to you more than I give. Okay. So that was back in the day when I was working in radio. And I used to listen to that song over and over again. But early this morning around 3 o'clock, I was tossing and turning. You know, just like the color purple. So you can't sleep at night. And you're wondering why. I probably shouldn't have asked that question. <laughs> Could I say, girl, get up. <laughs> the spirit said, get up, you better make a video. You ain't got no business looking to the left nor looking to the right. You better go the straight way and do what you're supposed to do. Now, you probably saying to yourself, what is this chick talking about? Okay, so I said to myself, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to close down at Mary Nice. And then I kept on getting phone calls from Georgia from Texas, from North Carolina, and different people. Like, girl, what's going on with you? You better get and stand on business. And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to leave it to somebody else to do. So, because of the person I am and the woman that I am, <laughs> and I have a whole lot of faith, I can't shut my mouthpiece. You know why? Because this is the glory of God. This is what he gave me to use. And so I got to do what I'm supposed to do. Because I, I asked somebody recently, are you doing what God called you to do or are you doing what you're supposed to do? And did you hear me? Are you doing what God called you to do or are you doing what you're supposed to do? Don't you know that that's one and the same? Because when you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're doing what God is calling you to do. And God is calling me to come back to you all and help each and every one of the people that I'm called to. Now, I will tell you. I ain't everybody a cup of tea because you got to have a delectable taste and <laughs> I can be sweet and spicy at the same time. But if one good thing is my intentions are always good and if I feel like I can't help you, I'll send you on down the road. You know, ease on down, ease on down the road. Go on, ease on down, ease on down the road. Don't you carry nothing that's going to be a heavy load. Ease on down, ease on down the road. Now it's still 3.30 in the morning and I'm trying to sing to you. I haven't had no tea, coffee, or soda. But nevertheless, the point I'm trying to say is that I can't keep on having these discussions with people and they telling me to get back on my business so I can stand on my business. And then I ain't doing that. <laughs> so, I'm back. I'm back. I am back. So, if you need a reading... Come to Aunt Mary Nice. If you got a question, email Aunt Mary Nice at Aunt Mary's Niece at, at gmail.com. Okay? Make sure you put an S behind the words, Mary's. Then I also got a telephone number. I would prefer that you never ever text me because text is just getting away. And you'll find out that I, I'm just not a good texter. No matter how hard I try. And I really don't text, to be honest with you. So. Your best bet is to email at A-U-N-T-M-A-R-Y-S niece, N-I-E-C-E at gmail.com, okay? Because if you want to get a thorough answer or if you want me to answer it 
on this video or any videos, then I can too. Now, one of the things I did while I was trying to be quiet, I canceled some social medias. My fault. I know. But guess what? I can right my wrong. Yes, I can. And yes, I will. And you can too. So if you got an issue and you need some help, call Aunt Mary's niece. Because at the end of the day, guess what? There's something good going on in your neighborhood. And who you gonna call Aunt Mary niece, honey? Because I have over 30 years of helping people. Because one thing I do know, and I know many, 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 many things, is that I'm a woman of faith, a woman of integrity. And like I said, if I can't help you, I'm going to try not to hurt you. Now, I do believe in my Second Amendment rights, <laughs> the right to bear arms. So with that being said, yes, I am a two-headed spiritualist, but I don't touch things that don't touch me. Say that again, Aunt Mary Niece. I said, I don't touch things that don't touch me. So uh, with that being said, I bid you adieu. Until next time, y'all, I'm Lady Q for you in 2023. Come on, come on, come on in the house. Because I got something to give and something that you need.